All right, finally in uh, 7.6, we're going to talk about proportional lengths. Some of this is review, but there are a couple of theorems that just confirm what we already knew about proportional lengths of triangles. <clears throat> the, two tr the two theorems that we have today are the triangle proportionality theorem and the triangle angle bisector theorem. Triangle proportionality theorem just states that if a line parallel to one side of a triangle intersects the other two sides, then it divides the triangle and the sides proportionally making AB proportional to CD. Usually before, we would then have to prove, first of all, that the angles were congruent here and here to then say it's angle-angle or something like that. Now, as long as we know that this auxiliary line is um, parallel to the bottom here, then we also know that CD and AB are proportionally divided. Take a second and answer this question knowing that AB is parallel to ED. First of all, we know that CD and DA are proportional to CE and EB. If CD is 3 and DA is 6, DE is 3 and a half, AB would be 10 and a half, and DA with the given information would be 12. The corollary of that says if three parallel lines intersect two transversals, then they divide the transversals proportionally. This is very similar to the one where we said if the congruent sides RS and ST were congruent, then the three parallel lines would also um, congruently divide up the, any other transversal in the, in, in, that would hit those three parallel lines. Which one is true or false? Is AB congruent or proportional to CD? Yes. Is AD and CB proportional? No. How about AC and CD? No. Nope. How about BC to AD? No. So the only one that we would get would be AD and CB. And if you look at the diagram, you can also see that the proportion is basically set up in the location for you. A over B, C over D which means the cross product has to be AD and BC. The only one that has that cross product is AB over CD. The triangle angle bisector theorem says that if a ray bisects an angle of a triangle, then it divides the opposite side into segments proportional to the other two sides. What that means is that if I choose this vertex to bisect, the angle, the side opposite that bisected angle is now broken into two similar proportions. These two are proportional and these two are also proportional. So we have almost two similar triangles in a sense that the angles are similar. The only thing we don't know is that these angles are similar. But obviously the triangles are similar because they share the third side. Find the value of x. Hopefully you found that the segment that after the angle bisector was created, that uh, the segment is 12. Therefore, x would be the length of the two segments combined, and x would equal 22. Try this one. State the proportion for each diagram. What would the proportion be for this diagram? Do you agree? Finally, this is going to be a question that we're going to try tomorrow, so I'll let you look at it now. We have a bunch of information. This is also number 31 in your textbook. After you finish your worksheet, if you'd like to look at number 31 in your textbook, you can do that and prepare it and see if we can discuss it tomorrow. Otherwise, you have the rest of the Worksheet to complete, bring it in with any questions that you have tomorrow.